Peace, peace. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to talk today um, about, we all heard the Meek Mill freestyle. And before we get started, man, subscribe to our channel in the black hip hop, you know what I mean? Um, but this new, uh, we all seen the freestyle. And you still got a lot of people that don't want to give Meek his credit. But if you look on Hot 97... I'm thinking that his freestyle was growing faster than pest control. It's already at one million, you know, um, views overnight. So what Meek showed you is that he got bars and he could spit, and he always had bars. Now, Game, game is a good rapper, but see the game's credibility is shot because he lied. Now people try to minimize the whole cheesesteak thing, but none of that other stuff has been confirmed about Safari. You know what I mean? And all the other shit and about Drake and Nicki. None of that shit's been confirmed. The only thing that's been confirmed in this beef is that game is a fraud and a liar and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say this, man. Y'all might think I'm crazy for it. I'll probably get a lot of thumbs down, but that was Grammy Grammy Family. It had the Grammy Family um, freestyle to it. The uh, essence to it. Remember Jay was in the booth with Funk Flex? You know what I'm saying? And it was the Grammy family. And he said, you know, the same sword they night you. They going good night you with. Shit, that's only half if they like you. Don't believe me. Ask Michael. See Martin. See Malcolm. See Biggie. See Pac. See success in his outcome. See Jesus. See Judas. See Caesar. See Brutus. See success is like suicide. Suicide. This is suicide. If you succeed, prepare to be crucified. So, Meek Mill is now being crucified. Whether y'all like it or not, Meek Mill is the king of Philly, man. I'm going to put it like that. Whether it be on the commercial end, you know what I mean, or the street shit. I mean, you got ARA as the top goon. You got people competing. You got Oskino. You know what I'm saying? Gilly, who's been going hard. Dark, low. There's other cats out there. But right now, you know what I mean, um, y'all got to give it to Meek, man. Meek, and not only did he come through with hot bars, you know what I mean, I can understand his point of view more. Now, and even the conscious aspect, is which I'm very excited about, is the conscious aspect of what Meek Mill is t um, talking about. When I mean, he talked about Flint and the government not giving a fuck, you know what I mean, about black people and his experience in the hood, the North Philly and all that. See, I can rock with that. We need more conscious rappers. So I'm going to go on a limb to say early, I'm making this prediction, it's a prophecy, that Meek Mill is going to be a combination between, when, he, when it's all said and done, Jay-Z and Tupac. And I think that's what the powers that be fear. They fear Meek Mill being a political voice for black people. So all these attacks, I'm, I'm watching. I'm going to drop a video on it soon. I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing something developing. Like they're trying to assassinate Meek Mill's character. You know what I mean? Once they assassinate your character, they try to assassinate you. It's a history of a lot of rappers that started speaking out politically. You know, they tried to, um, you know, pretty much... Um, assassinate their character and then pretty much assassinate them. There's a whole history of this. It's called Cointel Pro, the hip hop police, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? They they follow them around. TMZ is like another version. TMZ is feds at the end of the day. They everywhere. They they got the cameras on you and shit. And you know if something sl you slip up, they putting your shit out there. So they're like the media version of the feds at the end of the day. But keep watching me. I think with that it put Meek Mill right back on the even playing field than when he dropped the gene dream chasers because the beef's not over and another thing i want to talk about before i end this video it's a quick one i'm working stop promoting violence between these two brothers because y'all say well oh he came through philly you know what i'm saying with uh with a uh with his tour buses so are you saying that you wanted these philly niggas to shoot up the bus and kill game is that what you're saying because that's what y'all acting like would have happened that's what would have happened if it was really on like that so applaud it that they didn't do nothing in the game. Applaud it that these brothers is keeping it on wax. Because the last thing we need is two brothers that could be possible political figures and advocates for black people. You know what I mean? And bridging the gap is to kill each other and harm each other. That's what the powers that be want to happen. So be careful with that. So the king of Philly, man, Meek Millie. Holla at your boy. This is old God. Make sure y'all subscribe. We got nothing but classic, nothing but bangers coming from here on out, man. It's your boy. We out. Peace.